Well, I, I know it suited me. I think having the, the year with Coven uh, and having that year's experience certainly helped me. And obviously, the, it doesn't work out everyone like that for everybody. Some kids go over at 16, but I know it suited me. I think it done me the world of good. Um, obviously, it was a tough league. We were in League One, coming up against experienced players, helped me with my fitness. Um, and yeah, it was a great experience. Do you think, though, a lot of players go over, you know, hopes and dreams, they're, they're dashed by the time they are 19? Yeah, it can do. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't think, I, I would dread. I would have dreaded maybe have gone to a, a certain club, maybe it's 16 or 17. When, when I see these young boys going over, um, particularly the Irish lads, and they, they can end up in a, a club in London or a big club, and, and they can get lost. And there's no doubt in my mind, a lot of the kids, it's only natural, will, will get homesick. It's a massive challenge to them, and, and, and it's no surprise to me when a lot of them come back 19, 20, and uh, almost damaged from the experience. Not coming back saying, oh, well, you know, I can still get back to England, it didn't work out. Some of them are almost relieved to get back, and, um, and that, that, that must be a horrible feeling for any young player. Looking at the a recent Republic of Ireland squad, do you see uh, Ford, uh, Coleman, Ward, Long, and um, Doyle. There's like there's so many more in the squad now that have had League of Ireland experience. I, I think it, the, the players you've mentioned, it suited their careers. As I, we, we know, the lads who went over 16, they're having top careers. But this idea of that players, young players, 17, 18, leaving youth team football, uh, going to League of Ireland, I think is a big challenge for them. And, and as you said, we've seen over the last few years, lads who are 19, 20, who maybe feel they've lost that opportunity, doing well in League of Ireland, and English clubs are watching them. We haven't got hundreds of players coming through, even our English clubs, and, and we are going to take an interest in, and obviously, the League of Ireland clubs. No doubt it helps if they're in England, the fact with the full-time training, but as I said, I suppose with the fitness levels, no League of Ireland teams and players, it is literally full-time. So, yeah, we'd be looking at them, and if the, there's lads, I'm sure, doing well League of Ireland. We have seen it over the years. There has been lads playing League of Ireland, been selected for the Irish senior squad, and, and, and hopefully, if me and, you know, if Martin particularly sees somebody fancies, then they'll get a chance. You enjoying the, the role, the assistant manager role? Yeah, yeah, so far so good. It's, it's early days. Obviously, I'm, I'm learning a lot now about being an assistant, <laughs> my boundaries, and uh, <laughs> it's strange because obviously I was used to being a manager in terms of picking a team and the staff, but, you know, I'm delighted to be working with Martin. He's obviously a top, top manager. We had a disappointment of the last game. Uh, I, I suppose we, we both forgot how hard it is to lose a game because we've been out of the game. We, we had a couple of decent results at the start. But it's all learning for us. Uh, we're getting to know the players. We're constantly looking at them. Um, but yeah, it's been enjoyable. But uh, we know that the, you know the, the hard work will start next September. And to qualify is going to be tough because now that you've, you've seen the group and now that the fixtures have fallen as they have, it's not easy. No, no. No, it, it won't be easy. It's a very tough group, but I think we need to focus. You know, people are on about qualifying. We need to take a step back as well. And let's try and focus on being well organised, win football matches, and, and the, the league table will take care of itself. You know, we'd love to qualify, but if we do the basics right and win a few matches, then we'll have a great chance. And, um, you know, we need a good start. We've got a tough start, and, you know, three to first four games, I think, are away from home. And we know it's like in football, you need that little bit of momentum. So if we can get to a good start, you know, we'd fancy our chances, but there's tough games ahead. But hopefully, you know, Germany and the other teams will know they're in for a game when they play us. And despite what Stan Collingwood wants, yourself and, and Martin aren't heading off to, to Nottingham Forest anytime soon? Well, not tonight, no. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. Okay.